Victims of Bernard Madoff's uh, massive fraud scheme emerging. A list of wealthy investors. Bernie Madoff scandal deepened. He duped a lot of very smart people. That story continues to shock just about everyone around the world. The afternoon that Madoff was arrested was really crazy. And I was stunned. But by nightfall that night, we knew that Madoff had been turned into the authorities by his two sons. And at that point, this just became a whole new dimension of story. I kept writing him and asking him. It was just persistence. I didn't stop. What I said in one of my letters that I think might have been the hook, might have touched him, was I said, you know, this could well be the book that your grandchildren and their children will turn to, to understand what happened in their family. And I would so much want you to be part of that. I don't know if that had an impact or not, but I meant it sincerely. I wasn't trying to manipulate him into saying yes. I genuinely wanted not to glamorize him or demonize him, but at least to humanize him. What's a Ponzi scheme? I took money from some people and I gave it to others and I never, there's nothing left. I, I, it's supposed to be 50 billion. There's absolutely nothing, it's all gone. I was the one that was supposed to make sure that the portrayals and the conclusions in the script did not depart from what I could defend as the author of this nonfiction biography. In every case where I am in a situation to judge, the character portrayals are spot on. They are amazing. And in De Niro's case, as Bernie Madoff, they're almost supernatural. I mean, he occupied the persona of Bernie Madoff in a way that I never would have believed possible. Mr. Madoff, please stand. How do you now plead to count one? Guilty. Once we started shooting, it was completely Bernie. And that made it easy for me to do my job, to be the reporter interviewing Bernie Madoff. Absolutely, it could happen again. The notion that we can ever free ourselves of Ponzi schemes is absurd. Ponzi schemes live on trust. Unfortunately, modern commerce lives on trust too. You can't eliminate one without disabling the other. So I think it's important for this story to be told now and to be told as powerfully as this, to remind people how vulnerable we all are to falling under the spell of a plausible con man like Bernie Madoff and the next Bernie Madoff.